Alrighty, I wasn't in yesterday. Sorry. Oh, well. Uh, but today's a weekend. Today's a Saturday. And on weekends, I try and take a... a, a I, I want to address things that are a little more fun um, and not quite as dour. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the uh, the oil refinery that was blown up in Crimea. Um, you know, interesting story, but I don't know if I have a whole lot to add about it. But I was, I was scrolling through the news, and I came across a story on this ultra-right pier which I've seen a couple times. I, I've seen, like, you know, a couple of pictures of or whatever with all the Bud Light stuff going on, but I didn't really look into it at, at all. Um, for those of you who don't know, because of the whole Bud Light boycott thing, um, somebody, uh, you know, a good entrepreneur, immediately launched their own, you know, uh, right-wing beer brand and, you know, calling it ultra-right beer. And so I have to say, you know, hey, I, you know, I respect the hustle. I don't know how long that's going to last, just you know, doing your whole brand on, hey, we're the right-wing beer, you know, while there's a, a boycott against, you know, perceived left-wing beer going on. Um, you know, I, I feel like that's the kind of thing that maybe would burn out, you know, uh, once, uh, you know, in a few months. Um, but hey, in the meantime, you know, if they have the means, they can, you know, they can, they can make a bit of money off of this. I, you know, it seems like a good idea. Well, it's a whole, I didn't realize, um, just how successful something like this could be. So I was reading a, uh, an article, it was at Zero Hedge, but I think they got it from Fox Business or something like that, it was their source, the Zero Hedge was republishing it, that said that they had sold 20,000 units and they're selling these only in six packs. They've not shipped a single one yet because it hasn't been produced. They just announced, hey, we're gonna make ultra ripe beer. They've got 20,000 pre-orders, okay? I went to their website, 1999 for a six pack okay this is not cheap beer i mean now it's not it's not high-end beer by any means no it's you know it's normal like you know golden yellow lager you know bud light type of beer you know four percent alcohol and so this is not you know some high-end specialty stuff uh, that they're selling for 20 bucks for a six pack i mean and, um, but anyway uh, you do the math and that's about four hundred thousand dollars that they that, that, that they've got so far in pre-orders. Four hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot for a brand new company that was just invented. That you didn't even. It was a. It was just an idea that popped in your head as soon as people said, "Hey, let's boycott Bud Light." Somebody immediately went, "Oh my gosh, we need to make right wing beer," and they've got four. I mean, four hundred thousand dollars. My God. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe. Uh, Maybe it's free shipping or something. So uh, maybe that's why it's 19.99. So they've got you know a bit of profit in there, and then they've got a cushion so that they can ship this anywhere in the country because they don't have retailers, obviously. Um, and so I went through the through the process, and uh, um, you know I just clicked add to cart, and then I went to check out, and I actually could have buy it for friggin' 19.99 uh, for a six pack. But um, I wanted to get to the thing and see you know how much shipping was if they charged it all I thought and I was assuming you know 1999 it'll be free shipping nope you have to pay for shipping on top of the 1999 and the shipping was not cheap it was thirteen dollars to ship to me I ship stuff you know in, 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 in for my work um, you know via UPS and I mean the the cost on their end should be closer to like ah well i don't know maybe it's because maybe it's because beer is heavy maybe it's a little more but let's say 10 bucks max and well i don't know i still think closer to eight would probably be how much the, how much the shipping costs on their end for the label then they got to box it of course and, um and pack it so they're not making much on the shipping, but they'll, they're probably making a couple bucks on the shipping. But still, the fact that it they get nineteen ninety nine plus shipping, I mean, I had no idea. I mean, this is just I, you know, I'm in the wrong business, um, you know. But hey, that's that's how it works. You snooze, you lose. You know, there already is an ultra right beer. If I want to come out now and make my own, you know, hey, I'm the other, you know, I'm I'm not ultra right. I'm super right. Uh, I'm super right beer. Or if I wanted to go for a for a, uh, maybe a, a, an Anheuser-Busch uh, parody, um, uh, I could do. I could call it Natural Right, <laughs> which I think would have been a better name than Ultra Right because you know natural rights actually exist. I mean, if you had natural rights or natural right beer, that would have been pretty funny, I think. But hey, I'm not the one with four hundred thousand dollars in pre-orders for my friggin' 
four percent uh, lager beer. Now, I guess the one thing I will say about it in its defense is, uh, I guess they don't use adjuncts, so they had that. They have some kind of you know quality principle. You know, no corn or rice in our beer. It's just you know uh, uh, barley and hops. So. You know, there's, it has that going for it. It's not like so. It, it'll probably be decent. And they went to a. They didn't go to a uh, contract with some big brewery. Like they didn't go to Miller um, and and contract uh, to to make this. They went to a craft brewer to contract to to make this beer. Somebody in Georgia. I don't remember the name offhand, but um, so I mean, I'm not saying it's garbage or anything like that. Obviously, if that, you know, I don't even really like beer, so I don't. I don't mean to demean it. But I'm saying under any other circumstances, this beer would not be 20 bucks a six pack and people would not be paying $13 to ship it to their house. And you know what? I live in Florida. This beer's coming from Georgia. If you live in California, I would imagine it'd be quite a bit more than that. And I don't even understand. It said four days for UPS. I ship, if, if I was shipping something UPS to Gwinnett County, it would be two days. It would not be four days. So anyway, I just want to congratulate these folks. I should have gotten there. I, I think the guy's name was Seth Weathers, maybe, was one of the guys they had on the front page of the website. I mean, the website looks good. Um, you know, these are obviously just good entrepreneurs who um, are think, thinking quick on their feet. Oh, you know, another good name. See, the, I, these guys, I don't think they have enough of a sense of humor. Um, you know, like, they, they, which maybe that helps them. Maybe that helps because the ultra-right thing, like, it's so boomer con. Um, you know, they're calling it conservative dads ultra right. So they're totally marketing it like, you know, I mean, you know, the craft breweries love to say this isn't your dad's beer. They are outright saying this is your dad's beer. And they're not being ironic about it at all. It seems like they're playing it totally straight. But I mean, I, I would have gone for the parodies. I would have done either natural right or I, I don't know how I didn't think of this first. You can do Bush right, but you, obviously you can't spell it like Anheuser-Busch. You'd have to make it like... B-U-S-H, like, you know, George W. Bush or just a burning bush. But, you know, make it kind of similar, you know, but not so much that Anheuser-Busch, you know, sues you into oblivion because it's, even if they don't have a claim, you know, of copyright infringement, they'll still, you know, they can drag you through the courts and bankrupt you. Although Bush, right, that, that kind of has a wrong implication because it makes it seem like, oh, you know, you're like the Bush wing of the right wing. And you don't want to be associated with George W. Bush in this day and age if you're trying to market to the right. But, you know, in a sense, if the Bushes were still on the um, still on the up and up and still well regarded, I mean, both of those names would have been perfect for the right. Because, I mean, natural right, like natural rights, or Bush right, like, you know, old W. Ultra right is fine. It just seems like it's just so unimaginative. You know, it's just all it says is, hey, right wing beer. It's like, okay. It's just kind of boring. I mean, can't you have a little fun with it? Now, the uh, the article, um, which I don't know if I'll link to it, or I don't know if it really matters enough um, that I was reading. Uh, the headline, of course, was, you know, um, you know, a, a right-wing beer brand expected to reach one million in sales. You know, it's like, okay, well, I, I guess you can say that if you, if you want, since they've, they're already at 400,000. There's really nothing about the one million number that makes it special. I mean, you could say right-wing beer brand expected to reach 500,000 in sales. You could say right-wing beer brand expected to reach two million in, in sales. But either way, even though I'm sure on short notice these guys, you know, and going to a craft brewery, these guys are not going to be getting this cheap, this beer super cheap from them. But they should have, a, I mean, I would think there's got to be at least a 50% markup on this. A beer of this kind cannot cost them more than 10 bucks a six pack, even if they're really paying scalped prices from, uh, you know, from this, uh, from this brewery. But I imagine what this was, is one of these guys either probably already, uh, was a part owner in a brewery or had a friend that ran it. And they just called me and said, Hey, can we make this beer? It's like, yeah, man, let's do it. And then, you know, so I guess I could have looked into that a little closer, but ah, you know, it's, um, you know, I, I classify this as like a happy story because it's like, hey, you know, you actually can make money in this country. Um, there are ways to do it. You have to be in the right place at the right time with the right idea. Um, but you can do it. So um, I'm I'm happy for these guys' success. I wish it, I wish it was me. I wish I'd thought of it. And I hope that you know, with all this buzz, they're able to um, build some kind of a brand for themselves and actually have some staying power. You know, for their sake, not because I. I'm interested in buying the product. 
just because I, I like to see decent people succeed. You know, I'd rather see the money go to them than Anheuser-Busch. So, with that said, I will see you folks back here tomorrow.